Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for October 25th, 2024. The character at the Watcher and the modifiers are specialized. Start with 5 copies of a single card. Green cards, green cards are in rewards and shops. And binary card rewards contain only 2 cards. I see Peltzer with an amazing 1308. That's a really good score. Ichu with 1211 and Steven with 1209. So yeah, let's get started. I suspect Pelts went for the Highlander modifier. That's what he usually does, especially if the cards are not that great. Now, Empty Body is not horrible. But with two characters and binary, I think getting collector is going to be really difficult. So if possible, I'll also try to remove the empty bodies. Now, there is only one two lead path. No, two two lead paths. They will merge here. And then I get one elite and two question mark rooms. Up until that point, if I go on the left, I'll get one question mark room. In the middle, I'll get three. Okay, so that's a total of five. So let's definitely go in the middle. There's also an early shop, which I could go for if I'm trying to... Let's start with Eruption Strike. If I'm trying to remove an empty body early on, that might be interesting. Uh, here, I'll just do Strike and Vigilance. Okay. And then um, two strikes are not enough, but I can do Empty Body and then Defend. And then any strike should be enough to kill next turn. Any attack, really. All right. Okay, Outmaneuver, Consecrate. Not a huge fan of Outmaneuver. Let's take the Consecrate. And then here I got the Spike and Acid Slime. Um, I can just defend against 12 here, and then let's do Consecrate and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming. Let's do... Uh, actually... Yeah, let's do Double Strikes and then fully defend here. No reason to lose HP. Actually, yeah, I don't have the Hexago, so there is actually no reason to lose HP. And then I still didn't get the uh, eruption. Let's do vigilance and strike. And then next turn the eruption is enough to kill, right? All right. Okay, that was easy as well. Sneaky strike, just lucky. I don't have any discard at the moment, so I think I'll take the just lucky for now. So here's the question. If I go for the shop and see something amazing, I'll be sad. But I, if I don't have enough card opportunities, I'll also be sad. I think it is still pretty early. I hope I'll get some card room opportunities later on. So I think I'll skip the shop for now and let's just do a regular fight. Let's accumulate some more gold first. All right, let's do empty body, just lucky. And then I will lose 2 HP. Yeah, it's fine. I'm okay losing 2 HP there. Okay. Another 7. Let's do 2 strikes and empty body. Having so many empty bodies is actually kind of nice. And then here I'll do eruption and hopefully I'll get 2 attacks next turn. I still have the vigilance, right? Yeah, this is good enough. All right. Got an Essence of Steel Potion, Endless Agony Distraction. Endless Agony is fine. Good attack card. And then, okay, well, I'm glad I didn't go for that earlier shop. So I could remove a card here, and then I'll be left with, uh, what is that, 71 gold. That would be enough for a Weave, which is not a horrible idea. And I, honestly, of all of these cards, the Weave is probably the most important one. Anchor might have been okay. Toolbox might have been okay. But no, let's remove the Empty Body and then take the Weave. Okay. So now I'm looking for a cut through fate as well, ideally. Just like you should help with the weave, uh, for sure. Uh, ooh, don't want to enter Wrath here. A little risky. I don't think I will, though. Um, hang on. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. Let's take the damage. Let's do Consecrate. Then weave to kill this one. Strike to almost kill this one. And then defend for a little bit. Okay. Makes my life easier. You know, I'm. it's over faster that way. We got a fire push and flying the empty body. Definitely not going to take another empty body after removing one. Remin knob. Okay, so here I'm happy to start up with the eruption. Then do strike, another strike, and just lucky. There's a flying knee coming up. I also have a fire potion. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hmm, I could defend against uh, 12, actually. No, empty. one empty body is not enough, actually. If I do two empty bodies, I can always use the... Um, I can always use the fire potion next turn, right? Let's see if I can get by without using the fire potion, which might be difficult, but not impossible. Hmm... Yeah, actually, I needed I needed one more strike, right? Because I have uh, the Endless Agony, two, or two Endless Agonies to Consecrate. Actually, the strike alone was not going to be enough. All right, all right, fine. Let's just use the Fire Potion here. Okay. All right, I got the Boot. Whenever you deal four less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as a Colorless Potion. And mm, I don't mind the Indignation, but I, can, I think because I picked up Weave, I have to take the Cutthroat Fade, which is also a really good card. All right, here, let's spin. I'm not sure if I want curses. I guess with some scry capabilities, I don't mind curses. Nope, I took damage instead. I think it's 7 max HP, right? So it should be... Or 10% max HP, so it should be 7. Okay. And then here I got the lice. Uh, I don't think I'll do... Well, I could do... Here, let's do eruption. Uh, flying knee is enough to kill one of them, right? Let's do eruption you. And flying knee you. Oh, I miscalculated. For some reason, I thought... Well, I can still kill the backliner, okay? For some reason, I thought I would have enough, but fine. Yeah, I should have targeted this one. It's okay. 
Let's do Consecrate, Endless Agonies, and a Strike. All right. Okay, Sneaky Strike number two. No, I, I'll take the Poison Stab again. Not a huge fan, but it's better than nothing. We got White Beast Statue Potions always appear in combat rewards. Very useful. Okay. And then here I got the Fungi Beast and the Spike Slime. Um, I think I can do Eruption, Consecrate, and Flying Knee. And I just need to deal 22 damage. I'm actually not being attacked, so this should be easy. Good. Got a Bottled Miracle Potion, Sash of Protect. Uh, I feel like I picked up a lot of defensive or offensive cards. So balancing it out with some Protects would not be a bad idea, especially because I'm planning to remove all the other empty fists, empty bodies, I mean. So I've got the Eruption first. So Lane noticed that I did that yesterday, and he was happy with that, and I think that was the right decision. Lagavulin. Mm, cannot enter Wrath here. Oh boy, um, I think I have to wait, right? Yeah, let's do the empty bodies, then just lucky, get rid of the defend. Okay, I might consider throwing the colors potion, but let's wait until I'm getting attacked. Okay, flying knee's not gonna wake it. I think if I do vigilance, then flying knee, I'll have lots of energy, but not being in wrath is gonna be frustrating. All right, let's try this. Let's do weave, cut through fate, get a strike there. Weave again, and then, okay, at least I got a hand with only attacks, so that's useful. 18. I do have the empty body for energy, but two defense is not enough. I have to play the protect as well, and then do a strike, and unfortunately that's me next turn. I don't have the protect anymore. 18 again. Can I deal enough damage? Let me see if this gives me something amazing. Trip, flash of steel, or blind. I don't have enough attacks. Blind might be, actually blind would be enough, right? Because I can do blind, then eruption, and then Poison Stab and Double Empty Body with the weakness that is enough to be fully defended. Okay. And then here, let's do Wee Flying Knee, Strike, and wait. Will I have enough? I do have the Boot, which might be very necessary. Actually, it is necessary. So if I do Just Lucky and then the Weave, that is enough, right? Beautiful. Okay. This went out great. Perfect. This one gets Ceramic Fish. We're going to add a card to that, gain 9 gold, as well as a Cultist Potion, and I... Not sure about a rare cards, but I don't think I need bullet time. Let's take the empty fist. Okay. And here I got the slaver. I could do wait, can I kill here? Uh, so last time I just was too lazy to calculate, but let's calculate this time. So I'm just gonna add this up. So it's gonna be 12 plus 5, which is uh, 17. Double that is 34. Plus 9 is uh, 43, plus 3 poison is 40 uh, 46. And I need 48, so I don't have quite enough. Um, in that case, let's just do Eruption, Consecrate, Poison Stab, and then Vigilance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, two strikes are enough, and a Flying Nisha. Okay. That's a Strength Potion, which... Uh, you know what? I probably like the Cultist Potion more than the Strength Potion, so let's not take the Strength Potion. Sucker Punch is fine. Wave, wave the Hand is fine. I don't have a lot of blocks, so I think I'll take the Sucker Punch first. Okay. And then here I got an empty body and strike upgraded. All right, well, now I know which empty body I don't want to remove. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade the weave next because I do have, well, two scry cards already. Yeah, let's upgrade the weave. Okay. Although I guess with the boot, the upgrade doesn't make that big of a difference. But, you know, it's not useless, hopefully. I think I'll drink the cultist potion just because it's usually something I reserve for longer fights. And it might come in handy here. So let's do three attacks and wait. Okay. I would like to enter Wrath if I can. Yep, there it is. Let's do Eruption, Cut Through Fate. Um, a Strike is 12 damage. Empty Fist. I don't want to do Empty Fist, right? Actually, let's draw the Empty Fist. Next turn, I can play the Strike. This turn, I can just do Consecrate. All right. Mm -hmm. Then this turn, I should be able... Yeah, beautiful. Um, I can do Flying Knee, Strike, two Endless Agonies. And then 15 is a great split value. I think I should have no troubles here. Um, I can do Weave to kill you, Just Lucky, and another Weave to kill the backliner, or the frontliner here. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Cultist Potion was necessary, but there's no reason to save it, especially because I have White Beast Statue. Got a Duplication Potion instead, which is great. There is an Omniscience that's really tempting, only if I decide to abandon uh, the Popper Modifier and take a Wish later on as well. Right now, the Omniscience by itself is not going to be super useful. I think I'm going to skip it. If I start out with a Wish, I think I would have been much more eager to get rid of that, uh, to, to not go for Popper. And then because I didn't take the Omniscience, now the uh, Snake Eye doesn't look that appealing because the only high-cost card is the Vigilance and the Protect, so that's not enough. I think I'll take the Holy Water instead. Replaces Pure Water at the Starvage Combat, add three Miracles into hand. That's a little unfortunate that I had three Elites and a boss, and I only end up with four Relics, so uh, hopefully I can make that up here. 
one, two. There are two two lead paths. If I go on the left, I'll get one early question mark room and one late one. So that's only two. If I go on the right, I'll get two, three, four, five, six question mark rooms, and I still get that same early uh, late shop. So that should allow me. Wait, I still have to remove three empty bodies. All right. Um, do I want to risk eruption here? I'll take a bunch of damage. Uh, no, no, I definitely don't have enough to kill, right? Let's do strike, strike, consecrate, and then defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 10 incoming. Let's do vigilance, empty. This doesn't even matter, right? Yeah, let's just defend. Let's stay in calm. Because I can't even break through the block, so no reason to really do that. All right, here, let's do sucker punch, poison stab. Just lucky. Endless agony is fine next turn. Um, I could do empty body and defend to avoid taking any damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm lacking a strong attack card, which is rare with the with the def with the watcher. I mean, let's do flying knee, weave, endless agonies, strike, empty body, and then. Oh, I wasn't in calm. Fine, fine. I'll take three damage here. Come. Okay. I could use a potion because I'm guaranteed to get a potion with white beast statue, right? Uh, let's do a cut through fate. Get rid of this. Then do strike, strike. Um, I should try to defend here. Uh, here, I'll do empty body and defend. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can finally do eruption kill. Good. I've right, got an explosive push, which I don't think I'll take. Weave number two. No, I can't take that. Let's take the dagger spray. And here I got the chosen. Ten incoming. Um, yeah, I can fill it with the empty body. Let's do strike, consecrate. Come. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then here I'll do cut through fate. Yeah, get rid of the weave. All right. Play that. And then poison stab strike. And uh, let me get rid of the miracles because I don't want to put too many days into my hand. So, yeah. And then here I can do eruption, flying knee, two endless agonies. And I hope, I think I should be able to kill next turn. So there's no reason to exit wrath. And yes, I can. Beautiful. Got an energy potion, which I don't think I'll take. Acrobatics. If I had an acrobatics already, the sneaky strike would be great. But let's take the acrobatics now. Um, wait, what did I skip? I skipped the energy potion, right? Come. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going for collector bonus, although this would be my second collector bonus, theoretically. Fine, fine. And here I can remove things. Yeah, let's remove an another empty body rather than upgrade all strikes and defense. Okay. Come. All right, there's a sucker punch, which unfortunately is not upgraded, so it's not that useful. But I can do empty fist, sucker punch, and then consecrate. Okay. Yeah, the boot is helping me there quite a bit. Uh, 21. Uh, let's do weave just lucky. All right, did that break? Th oh, it didn't break through the block. All right, fine. And then I'll do vigilance. And you know what? Let's do protect here as well. Should I do a flying knee? Let's do flying knee as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not being attacked, that's good. Let's do poison stab and a strike. Okay. Alright, and then 21. I was really hoping to enter Wrath here. I don't think it's too late. Yeah, let's do the eruption. Um, I'm too lazy to calculate, but I think I should have enough, right? Um, let's do a strike. And then endless agony. Yeah, I think especially with the um with the boot, that was pretty easy. Got a colorless potion, which you want. I think I have enough bottled miracles already. Uh let's take a colorless potion there. And I already have a protect, so I guess I'll take the halt. Not a huge fan of that card at the moment, because I only have one way to enter wrath. And everything is attacking me here. Um, let's do weave, cut through fate. Okay, just lucky is fine. I can do another. Actually, just lucky is enough to kill us. Alright, let's do weave you. Just lucky. The Sagity is fine too, but there's nothing I can do to defend, right? Did I have enough damage? So 12, 18. Yeah, I didn't have enough damage to kill this one. Let me see if the Colors Potion gives me an amazing defensive card. It didn't. Secret Weapon doesn't give me anything either. Uh, well, no, at least nothing that allows me to defend. So I think the best I can do is um, apply Weakness here. But I still have to defend against um, 12 plus 4, 16. And I only have 10. You know what? Fine. Let's duplicate the Empty Body as well. Okay. And then, well, now I can play a few attacks on the Grumman, Matt Grumman too. All right. Okay. Uh, here, let's do Poison Stab and Endless Agony. That's enough to kill this one. And then Sucker Punch. And, oh, that was a misclick. I meant to play the Endless Agony. That's fine. I free up my hand. All right. Uh, Consecrate. Oh, actually, can I enter Wrath first? Let me do Miracle, then Acrobatics. Uh, no way to enter Wrath yet. Get rid of this. Let's do Dagger Spray. Okay, then Consecrate. All right. And then I can play two. Oh, I should have played the Upgrade of Strikes. So there's no reason not to. And I'm being attacked again. 
Nothing I can do right. 19 the most. I need 27. Uh, wait, uh, hang on, hang on. I said 19, 24. All right, fine. Let's use all my potions. All right, not happy about that, especially if I now still cannot defend because I spent a lot of good potions here. Let's do Consecrate Vigilance Sucker Punch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And luckily I'm not being attacked here. Uh, can I kill a minion? I just barely. Uh, yeah, let's kill one of them. Okay. And then I have to exit Wrath, right? Actually, yeah, I have to exit Wrath. Or exit Calm, I mean. Okay, I still have so much damage to get through. And I'm being attacked again. Nothing I can do about that. That's a bummer. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Blind will at least help a little. So let's do that. And then I can do Empty Fist. Just Lucky. Eruption is useful next turn. And then I'll do a Defend here. Yeah, that's a bummer that I used all my potions and I still had no chance, no real chance of perfecting, really. The problem is that right now my only way to deal a lot of damage is by being in Wrath, and I can't do that all the time. Um, let's do Weave Acrobatics. All right. Then do Blind. Uh, I have enough to kill here, right? Good. Okay, unfortunate. It was one turn I missed. All right, let's see what I got here. Agamiko, your first attack each combat deals additional damage as well as a skill potion. And Cloak and Dagger is a good defensive card. Let's take that. And then here, all right. Bag of Marbles is interesting. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Let's also remove another empty fist, or empty body, I mean. So I just need one more card, remo uh, card removal there. I already have these two. Between these three, Infinite Blades is actually interesting. And I could also afford the Dodge and Roll. I think I'll take the Infinite Blades. And let's take the Dodge and Roll as well. Yeah, the Infinite Blades might be actually very useful. Like, there was a, uh, offered. I was offered an accuracy that I rejected. All right, let's do Consecrate, Sucker Punch, Empty Body... And uh, I guess I'll do Poison Snap. You know what? Let's do a Strike here as well. Use the Vulnerability. Okay. All right. Um, so here, two Endless Agonies are enough to kill this one. Actually, I could have done Just Lucky too. And then Strike and Vigilance. Might as well. Okay. All right. Uh, Weave, Dagger, Spray, Acrobatics. Um, I think I'll risk the Infinite Blades. Having a consistent Shiv every turn might be useful. 21. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate first. Okay, there's an Eruption. Let's do Eruption, Weave, Shiv, and Empty Fist. Not enough. So let's do Halt, then Empty Fist, and then uh, Protect. Okay. And then I just need any attack card to kill next turn. Yeah, the Shiv is enough. Beautiful. Okay, you got a Weakness Potion, Judgment Acrobatics. I already have this, and this is a rare card, so unfortunately I have to reject these. And here I got Centennial Deposit. First time, lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Okay. And then here I got the Book of Stabbing with 12 incoming. I have to do Vigilance and Dodge and Roll, right? Let's do Vigilance, Dodge and Roll. I think I do want to play an Akimiko Vulnerability a Dagger Spray. Let's also do an Infinite Blades. Okay. I also have a Weakness Potion I might consider using. 18. So if I enter Wrath, I can't exit it. And there's no way I can kill. There's also no real way for me to defend. So this is a 12. Actually, if I throw the Weakness Potion, I will be fully defended by, a def by playing a Defend and a Halt. I still, unfortunately, cannot play the um, Eruption. And that means I'm going to lack a lot of damage. 15. That's with weakness. I don't have enough unless I get something amazing here. Acrobatics Terror Prey. Let's take the Acrobatics, see if I get a defensive card. I got a Cloak and Dagger. That's not horrible. So let's do Cloak and Dagger, Shiv. Then Protect. Do I want to do a cut through fate? Um, I think I do. Let's do cut through fate. There's a just lucky. Fine. Actually, sucker punch. No, the enemy's already weakened, so I don't need a sucker punch. Okay. Mm -hmm. 14. Well, I have a lot of defensive cards here. Um, uh, sorry, not 14. 16, right? So I have to play this, this. And yeah, there's no way I can deal 71 damage, and I'm running out of weakness too, right? 30 incoming here. That's a lot. Um, yeah, I think the best to do is eruption, shiv... Uh, boy, I'll do strike an empty body, so I'll accept the damage, but hopefully that'll make it a little easier to kill. Uh, I might have to rest at the next rest site, because uh, this is not looking good. Uh, let's do Shiv, Consecrate, Cut Through Fate. Um, I think I have enough, right, with the empty Flying Sleeves and Empty Fist? That's 17. Oh no, I'm one short. Alright, let's pivot to Defend here, Cloak and Dagger, and Defend. Ugh, okay, I'm losing a little bit more HP than I'd like. Okay. Yeah, just got a bad hand. Fine, fine.
That fossilized helix, that might be really useful. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat, as well as the Blessing of the Forge. And Worship is interesting. My deck is not as large as I'd like. Let's take the Worship and might make it, um, well, a little easier to deal a lot of damage. Oh, I only have 10 HP. I have to be really careful here. Very tempting to try to play Worship. I will take... Actually, wait, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead here. Unless I can kill something. Uh, 25... Yeah, I mean, I think I'll have to drink the Blessing of the Forge, do Empty Fist, then uh, two strikes to kill this one. And then I do want to play the Worship. Let's also do the Infinite Blades. Okay. So I lose the buffer here. Fine. Eight incoming. Oh, come on. I, I do want just a defensive card if I can get it. Uh, all right. At least I got the... Um, I don't think I need this. Let's do Empty Body Halt. Then Cut Through Fate. Uh, eruption might be enough. Oh boy, I have the energy potion. Fine, let's not the energy potion, I mean the miracle. Um it's not enough, right? Wait, so this would be 16, 25, another six is 31. That's not enough. 32 if I do poison stab instead. No, not enough. Alright, let's just do just lucky. I'll play the consecrate next turn. Come. Mm -hmm. 12 incoming. Uh let's do uh yeah, just play everything, right? Endless agony, shifts, consecrate. Um, another shiv and empty body. Okay. So then the shiv I get next turn should be enough. All right. That was more stressful than it had to be. And then, yeah, I mean, I'll risk it. Let's do the powerful fight here. I do have to worry about, well, both of these really. And again, just bad turn on turn one. Um, yeah, let's do flying knee, Akabiko, right? Well, let's do Akabiko empty fist first, I guess. Then flying knee, then strike, miracle, infinite blades. And I think I'll do the dodge roll as well, just to have some block next turn. Okay. That's a lot of incoming. Um, let's do... Well, I mean, the best I can do here. Let's shift, dagger spray. Then weave. Then uh, just lucky. All right. Consecrate. And one short. I think I'm dead here, right? Um... So I'll take, I have 16, I have 21 incoming if I play this. Yeah, no, I'm dead. And I'm worried that if I, I mean, I'm dead, right? I have to reload. And if I reload, I think this event is not guaranteed to show up. It might be a different event, which would be a shame because I'll miss out on two relics. I mean, I might also, well, okay, no, I, I got another chance. Let's try this. Maybe I'll try to see if the Blessing of the Forge, can I kill without enter, without upgrading everything? Let's try this. So Empty Fist, uh, Strike, and no, that is not enough. Well, okay, I have to drink this after all. All right. Okay, yeah, and, and you want let's skip the worship. I don't think I need the worship because it's gonna be hard to reshuffle. Well, I guess it's it's in my hand. Um, let's do shiv, flying knee, cut through fate, and then grab the empty body, and then let's also do dodge and roll and poison stab. Okay, mm -hmm. another twelve. Uh, let's do eruption. Yeah, now the eruption is enough. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's try this one more time. I don't know if I should if I can do things differently at all. Um, do I target the Taskmaster instead? The problem is I'm losing the buffer on turn one, right? There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, no, I think it does make sense to target the backliner. So let's do Empty Fist, Flying Knee, Strike. And then, yeah, I think it does make sense to play the Miracles. Okay. Yeah, if it's the same hand, there's nothing I can do here, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything different with the card order or anything like that. On level 7, yeah, there's nothing I can do. If I had the buffer, that would be great, but I don't. What if I target this one? I still don't have enough, right? Yeah, there's no way I can deal more damage here. Um, there's also no way to get more draw. Yeah, 23. I only have 19. Um, I guess I'll try this one more time. And uh, No, the key is... Yeah, I think I have to reject that second fight. I mean, I'm dead if I do. So there's nothing I can do about that, right? And here, there's no way I can get by without drinking the Blessing of the Forge, right? Because then I'll die. Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing I can do. Fine. Um, all right, let's... Uh, what if I target the backliner? Will that change things? Uh, no. Well, actually, it's not going to change things. I'm still, I still have to use the potion, right? So fine. All right, and then let's do this, and might as well do this, okay. I think I just have to reject the next fight, which is a shame. 
I can't remember the last time that happened. Not very happy with that, of course. Let's do the empty body here. Dodge general and then shiv and you know let's play these as well. Okay. Alright. And here I got the eruption, right? That was enough to kill. Good. And then yeah, unfortunately I have uh, to display cowardice and, ex and escape. Uh, that's a bummer. Would have given me two relics that way. Uh, heal or add a card to your deck. Do I want to heal? Yeah, because then I can upgrade. Oh. Yeah, let's heal. I think it's safer to heal here. Alright, it also means I can't remove the last empty body from this shop. Um, I can't afford any of the relics. Evaluate is interesting. I think I can do evaluate and follow up. Now, there was also a block push that I might have considered. But let's try to make the evaluate work there. Got bird in the chosen. Let's start with an, uh, start with an Go dagger spray, then cut through fade. Okay. And uh, let's grab a strike so I have the empty fist next turn. And I think I'll do... Um, uh, let's do, let's do, I should have done Vigilance and Empty Fist, right? Or Empty Body, that would have been better. But fine, I still have the buffer. Okay. And then here, I can kill this one with a strike. Should I do Worship? Let's do Worship and then Empty Fist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 10, there's a free follow-up Weave. Let's do Acrobatics. Um, I think I don't mind playing the, um, the Sucker Punch here for weakness. And then I could, you know what, I have to lose the buffer anyway. So might as well not play the defend. Let's do poison stab instead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 14. Do I have enough to kill here? I think I do with the shift. Beautiful. Okay, the worship has been proving somewhat useless so far. Got a flex potion, dodge and roll, protect. I already have both of them, so I have to reject. And then here, I think I'll risk upgrading. What should I upgrade, though? Infinite blades is interesting. Not super necessary. And my opening hand sometimes is really useless. So I think I'll upgrade the Protect instead. Okay. Alright. I got the Champ. 16 incoming. I mean, I could do Eruption. There's no... Well, I have the buffer, right? Let's do Eruption. Then see what the Acrobatics gives me. Another Defend is only 11. I needed way more than that. 16 if I exit Wrath. I could try to Defend. Let's do that. Yeah. So I think I'll do... Wait. Uh, so I needed 16. This is 10 plus 6. That's enough. So, this allows me to be fully defended. I think I, because I'm in Wrath, I'll play the Flying Knee as well. Alright, empty body and evaluate. Okay. Hmm. Well, been coming. Okay, well, I'm glad I kept the buffer because now I need it. Uh, let's do Dagger Spray, Strike, Empty Fist, another Strike. Okay. Alright, there goes my buffer. Another 24, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about that, right? Um... So I get something amazing. Nope, nope, nothing I can do about that. All right, fine. I tried. I tried. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I, I did something wrong at some point. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but um, yeah, let's do Infinite Blades here. Come. Okay. All right, maybe, well, 18 incoming. Um, once I get the Worship again, I'll be in Divinity, so that's good. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate first. I don't think I can do Eruption, right? Um, yeah, I definitely can't do Eruption. Let's get rid of that then. Then do just lucky. Should I do acrobatics? Let me see what the acrobatics gives me. Okay, there's a weave. That's good. And then let's do shiv. Just lucky. I should have done the weave first. That was a mistake. And uh, let's do empty body. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked here. Worship is still not showing up. Let's do shiv, sucker punch, consecrate, strike, and wait. I also realized I don't have any relics that allow me to scale. 27. Well, I can enter divinity here. Barely have any good attacks, but it would give me energy, which is useful. Let's do uh, Shiv, Strike, Dodge and Roll, Evaluate, and the Protect. Okay. All right. I still, yeah, I I, ha I don't have high hopes here. Because mostly I'm a little worried about the uh, transformation, or the turn after the transformation. I'll be vulnerable that turn too. And I don't have a weakness with the Sucker Punch. So it is not looking great. I only have 13 HP. I have to defend against 54. That is a lot. Uh, let's do acrobatics. I'm not sure what I was hoping for here. I guess I can do eruption to get energy back. Then cut through fate. Yeah, empty fist to exit wrath. Um, consecrate. No, there's no way to deal enough damage, right? There's no way to defend against 54. Maybe if I had drank the... Um, 
the flex potion that might have made a small difference at most it would have dealt 50 extra damage let me try this one more time and see if i can pull that off also if i wasn't in vulnerability the turn i was getting attacked with the big attack i might have had a chance let's try this one more time all right so i think i did eruption acrobatics and then evaluate empty body was enough right uh so let's do miracle i still think i'll do the flying knee yeah empty body evaluate all right and then this is the turn I wasn't able to defend, right? So fine, let's play everything here. Strike, strike, empty fist dagger spray. Okay. All right. Another 24. And yet this is the turn there. I don't have the buffer and there's absolutely nothing I can do. Should I see what the inside gives me? Actually, I think I did that last time. It still didn't do anything. All right, fine. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just do infinite blades and worship. Why not? Okay. And then 18. And this is where I start taking damage, right? Let's do Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Shiv, Cut Through Fate, get rid of both of these, follow up for free, just lucky, Empty Body is fine, I think I have to, well, I don't have to, but I should play the Protect here, okay, alright, here, let's do Sucker Punch, yeah, just play everything I have, okay, alright, 27, this is the turn I took, ended up taking a lot of damage, right, because I'm frail as well, Weave, Empty Body, Halt, Dodger. Yeah, I can just play everything and I'm still taking 12 damage. Okay. All right. So if I enter... Actually, this is a much better turn. All right. I changed the card order a little bit. And now this is a much better turn to enter Divinity. I do wonder if drinking the Flex Potion would have been better because that would have dealt uh, 5 times 3, 15 times 4, 60 more damage. Might have made a big difference. Uh, here, let's do Flying Knee, Empty Fist, Strike. And then I think I was getting the eruption next turn. Oh boy. No, I didn't get the eruption. Um, let's do insight. Yeah, nothing I can do, right? Even if I drink the flex potion. I think I'll try this one more time. And what I'm going to try to do is to um, drink the flex potion the turn I was, um, I was in divinity. So yeah, let me speed this up. I'll be right back if I have a chance of surviving. Okay, so I changed the card order a little bit. So now I got the worship in the turn where I was getting the big attack. So let's see. Let's see if that helps. Let's do worship here. I also have lots of energy, which is good. Shiv, strike, strike. As I am dealing a good amount of damage. Flying knee, just lucky. Unfortunately, still nowhere near enough though, right? Yeah, nothing I could have done here. All right. Uh, so what should I do? I am I think I didn't spend too much time, right? Yeah, let's try to reload. What can I do differently? I ended up just losing a lot of HP on Act 2. I still think removing the um, empty bodies was the right approach. Maybe I picked up too much junk. Maybe I should just embrace a thinner deck. That would also make the later worship much more useful. So which cards? Poison, poison Stab was useless. Sucker Punch, I mean, not bad, but probably not necessary. Infinite Blades probably didn't really fit this deck. Same with Halt. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I think I'll do that. Let's reload real quick and I'll speed this up. I'll be back with the champ fight again.
All right, I'm actually back before the boss fight because now I want to try to perfect this fight. Or not perfect, but survive this fight and gain two extra relics. I think those two relics might make a big difference. So let's try this one more time. Now, uh, the only difference I did from my first run through, I picked up way fewer cards. I'm only at 23 cards. I think I had 27 or 28 before. So I picked up. I didn't pick up some of the cards that I didn't really need. So let's try this one more time. I started with the eruption, which is great. And then a strike. That's uh, not quite enough. Let me see what the acrobatics gives me. Okay. Um, flying knee is enough. Great. And then I do have the empty body. Actually, I have empty fist as well. Uh, wait, can I kill here if I do strike one? Uh, almost enough. Yeah, another strike and then empty fist. Beautiful. Look at that. Didn't even take damage this turn. Okay, so I think this should be at least doable with the false light helix as well. Uh, let's start off with a cut through fate. Get rid of these two. I'm hoping. Yeah, I was hoping for a better attack card. All right, just lucky. And a shiv. Okay, so that way I still have my buffer. All right. I still have the uh, Blessing of the Forge as well. Um, 13 incoming. If I do two two defense, I have to. Uh, if I want to avoid taking damage this turn, let's do two defense. And then uh, just the Endless Agonies and a strike. Should I do another strike with the Miracle? Let's do it. Come. Okay. Unfortunately, next turn I basically have to kill this one. Otherwise, I'll take way too much damage. Yeah, look at that. That is a lot of damage. Um... Would upgrading things make a difference? There's an eruption coming up. Let me do acrobatics first. Yes, I was hoping for that eruption. All right, um, so then let's get rid of this. I think I'll drink the Blessing of the Forge here because then I can do uh, Eruption, Miracle, Weave. Uh, no, well, Dagger Spray is enough to kill the Backliner. Then Weave and Flying Knee. Beautiful. All right, survive this one. We got Tungsten Rod. Whenever you die, he lose. Uh, sorry, whenever you lose HP, lose one less. And strike damage cards, cards containing strike that deal three additional damage. Nothing super amazing, but I think it might make a difference against the upcoming boss. Sash or Piercing Whale. Let's take the Piercing Whale. Uh, interesting. That was not offered to me last time either. So yeah, let's grab the Piercing Whale. And here, because I have enough HP, I think I'll um, just grab a card. What should I grab though? Blade Dance is interesting, but I don't think it's super necessary. I didn't take the uh, Infinite Blades either, right? The Flying Sleeves is fine. Bowling Mash might be some good AoE damage. I would love a third eye, but uh, it's not offered here. Um, so yeah, I think I'll take the Bowling Mash. Okay. And then now I didn't spend a lot of gold in the last shop. So now here I can actually afford to remove the last empty body. Okay. And then I think I'll also... Ooh, Entropic Brew. You know what? Let's risk the Entropic Brew over the Block Potion. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of any of the cards either. Okay. All right, I might actually still consider resting at the next rest site, given my uh, past bad experience there. Uh, let's start with a flying knee, weave, and a strike to get the spur to the ground, and then it looks like I'll lose the buffer, but that's fine. Okay. All right. And then here I can do endless agony. Actually, consecrate was enough. That was, that was a misplay. All right. Okay, 10 incoming. Uh, let me see what the acrobatics gives me. There's a piercing whale that's interesting. All right, let's do piercing whale and then defend. Uh, should I risk eruption? Yeah, I think I'll do that uh, because then I can play the defend as well to be fully defended. And while being in wrath, I might be able to come up with more damage. Uh, okay, if I don't have enough damage, I might have to exit wrath with the empty fist. That was good timing there. And then uh, let's also play the protect. Okay. Oh, I should have played the defend. Would have avoided losing one HP there. And then here I can kill with a dagger spray. Good. All right, got a fire potion, which I probably need more than the ancient potion. Um, here, I think it's okay to take flying sleeves, especially because of Akabiko. And then should I rest here? No, I don't think the upgrade is important. Let's rest just to be safe. Just so, to make sure I can get through the final boss fight here. But I still don't have high hopes of being able to perfect... All right, uh, I think I'll do Protect, Defend, and you know what? I will do the Ekabiko Flying Sleeves. Okay. All right, another 12. Uh, let's do Weave, Just Lucky. Or, yeah, Just Lucky. Then Weave again. Cut through Fade. And then um, Piercing Whale well and Defend alone is not enough, so I have to lose my buffer here either way. Should I drink? You know what? Let me try to... Let's play this. Let's see if the Entropic Brew gives me something amazing. Uh, I don't know if the colorless potion would give me something good. Might blast. I don't think that's useful, but panache might be much better. Let's do the defense here. Uh, wait, there's still nothing I can do, right? Fine, let's deal 12 damage here. Okay. Yeah, losing the uh, buffer there, that's fine. 24. All right, so let's do vigilance, empty body. Then Piercing Whale. That brings it down to 15. I'm almost... Actually, I am fully defended with the Tungsten Rod. Do I want to still play two cards to trigger the panache? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do that. 
Uh, let's do dagger spray. That's more damage, right? Okay. All right. So here I didn't take damage. Thanks to you. Thanks, Neuron. Do I want to risk entering Wrath? I mean, it is a risk, but I mean, why not? I also have a stance potion, so if I have to exit Wrath, I can do it next turn. Um, I was really actually never mind. I can't exit Wrath, but there's no way for me not to take damage. So there's nothing I could have done either way. Let's play the empty fist at the end. Let's play everything else first. And then empty fist. Okay, yeah. We'll take 18 damage here. At least I have force and transformation next turn, though, so that's good. And lots of card draw. Let's do just lucky. Get rid of this. Cut through fate. Get rid of this. And then do flying sleeve strike another strike. Okay, I I mean, at least I have more HP. I'm still vulnerable. I still have 50... Uh, wow. F no, actually 48. Okay, the enemy didn't get as much strength as I thought it would. Let's do weave, vigilance, empty body. Uh, 48. At least I'm alive. Let's do protect as well. Okay. That's better than... Uh, that's I, I'm in better shape than I was last time. Uh, I am too scared to play the eruption. Let's do just lucky first. Ooh, never mind. There's a vigilance coming up. All right, so let's do eruption, miracle, acrobatics. No okay. cam. And then I think I'll do another miracle. Wait, I actually need to defend by quite a bit. So I, I think I have to do this. And then 20. Yeah, this. This allows me to just barely be defended. Okay. Also, I have still two good potions I might consider using. Yeah, this turn I'm fully defended thanks to the empty body, two defense. And then let's do Strike, Consecrate, and Flying Sleeves. The, the Panache is actually dealing a surprisingly large amount of damage so far. Okay, big attack again. I think I have to enter Wrath here and hope for the best with Dagger Spray, a regular Strike. Empty Fist is 18, Bowling Bash is 14. That is only 30, uh, yeah, 32. I need a little bit more than that, right? So even if I do this... Actually, no, I forgot about the Panache. Okay, phew. All right, just barely was able to survive by drinking all my potions. All right, we got a power potion. That Entropic Brew ended up really useful. I really should go for rare cards, but I already committed to Popper, so let's skip this one. Spiritual would have been great. Astrolabe. I mean, I already removed all my empty bodies, right? So I don't think I need to play Astrolabe. Coffee Drip is interesting. Pandora's Box might give me duplicates, though. Yeah, it's too risky. It also might give you, give me a rare card. Let's take the Coffee Drip. I also wouldn't mind the extra energy. So again, energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Okay. All right, Awaken one at the end. I don't have a single power, do I? So that's probably fine. One, two, there are multiple two lead paths that will all merge here. Up until that point on the left, I'll get three, four crush mark rooms. In the middle, I'll get two. And on the right, I'll get uh, three total. No, f also four total, right? Yeah, so left and right are the same. If I go on the left, I have an extra rest site. If I go on the right, I'll get also an extra rest site. But I also will have a shop, so I think it's worth it to go for that shop here. So let's go on the right. Come. Okay. Or middle right, I should say. Okay, so here let's do empty fist, strike, cloak and dagger, and defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13. Um, let me do flying sleeve, cut through fate. Should I do eruption? I do have the empty body. Let's do eruption, consecrate, and then empty body and defend. Okay. Still have that buffer, actually. 21. Uh, let's do Vigilance and uh, see what the Acrobatics gives me. Okay. I can do um, Endless Agony, Just Lucky, and then I could uh, do... Pu Actually, I can kill with a Strike here. Good. Alright, got a Swift Potion, Evaluate Tranquility. Tri I never... Wait, did I pick up an Evaluate? I think I didn't the second time around, so I think I'll do the Tranquility instead. Having a way to Exit Wrath innate, or not innate, retained is pretty good. And here I'm losing a strike. It would be great if I had an extra empty body, but I think I'll save the one I have, the last one I have. All right. Here I... Wait, this is 12. I need 14. Uh, let's do empty body first, then Vigilance, because I don't actually need to exit Wrath, and then a strike. Okay. All right. And then here, 24. Well, there's an eruption. That's pretty useful. Let's do that. Let's do eruption, then acrobatics. It's a great hand, actually. I probably don't need a regular strike. Before I do the dagger spray, let's do bowling bash. All right, then do dagger spray. Okay. And then I can kill this one with a just lucky. Oh, there's a consecrate coming up next turn. I, I think I'll sacrifice my buffer. Because next turn I'm guaranteed to kill with the consecrate, right? Okay. Yeah, this also makes my life a little easier. All right. Got a Distal Chaos Potion. Riddle with Folds would be great if I have Strength or if I draw it on turn one. It is pre-upgraded and I have the energy and I like it more than the Caltrops. Let's take a look. It does go against what I was trying to do this this run by avoiding taking junk. 
He also spent 40 gold. I think... I don't think I need this. I think I'll take the Stature Potion only. Okay. Here I got the Maw. Uh, yeah, it can be a Riddle with Holes. That's a lot of damage. 90 damage to be exact. Let's do it. Okay. If it always shows up in turn 1, I'd be happy. Uh, get rid of this. Let's do Atlas Agony. Consecrate Cut Through Fate. Get rid of the Weave. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, let's do let's do flying sleeves with vulnerability and dagger spray with vulnerability. All right, almost 150 damage on turn one, not bad. 25. So here I need to defend. Let's do block, block, another block, and uh, might as well do empty. Actually, was that necessary? Because I I was I knew I was not going to be able to able to fully defend. I had to I had to use the buffer anyway. Yeah, that was probably not the best play there. Okay, 56. Okay, that is a lot. I might need to exit wrath here. Yeah, but just might have to. Uh, all right, let's do protect, defend, and I'm still taking a lot of damage. All right, fine. Okay. And then here I can do eruption, uh, weave, consecrate, dagger spray, flying knee, flying sleeves. I kind of want to stay in wrath because I don't think I need much to kill here. Yeah, beautiful. All right, we got a regen push, which I think I'll skip. Sneaky strike. I mean, I have the acrobatics now. You know what? I did say that if I had an acrob acrobatics, I would pick it up. So let's do that. And then next, I think I'll upgrade the Cut Through Fate for more Scry and, uh, well, really just more Scry and slightly more damage, I guess. All right, Reptomancer again, 90 damage. Ooh, I can't, you know what, you know what, no, let's let's enter Wrath here and then do Riddle with Holes for 180 damage because that allows me to just kill in turn one. Beautiful, we got Mob Bank, whenever you climb the floor, again, 12 gold. No longer works, and you spend any gold at a shop as well as a region potion again and a Wallop. Great card. Yeah, I, uh... Might have been the least amount of gold the Mawbank has given me, but um, I can't do Dolly's Mirror. Conclude is pretty good. There's nothing I need to remove, right? I already removed all the empty bodies. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do Conclude here. I mean, I could also just save the gold. No, let's do Conclude. I would love another Stature Potion. Let's get rid of this, take the Stature Potion. I think I'll just wait. Yeah, there's nothing better to play, to get here. I mean, if I want to get to 35 cards, I should pick up things like Infinite Blades. And then hope I get five more cards at some point. It is it is possible. We got Bronze Scale, Sage Combo, three Thorns. All right. And then here I just got the Jaw Worms, which are attacking me for a little bit. Um, again, Riddle with Holds is enough to kill the stronger one. Let's do that. And then I think I'll do Eruption... Consecrate, Miracle, and then Wallop. Yep. And I still have the Tranquility to be able to exit Wrath, and I have still have the buffer. Okay, so here let's do Cut... Uh, no, we first, then Cut Through Fate, and then the we for a kill. Beautiful. Okay, we got a Power Push, which I don't think I'll take. Uh, halt Out Maneuver. I mean, if I want to pick up... A, if I want to get to 50, or 35 at least, I should pick up the Halt. All right. It's still going to be really difficult to do that. Um, well, there's a curse here, which I don't actually want at this point. It's a little too late, so I think I'm okay losing my HP. All right, here I got the Nemesis. Let me see. Let's do Miracle Acrobatics. I was really hoping to get the Riddle with Holds. Fine, let's do the Eruption a Bowling Bash. Just lucky. Uh, probably don't need the Dagger Spray next turn. And then Flying Knee and Conclude. That's a good amount of damage for one turn. Hoping it's a big attack, because, yeah, I have the intangibility for that. And I don't think I'll actually exit Wrath. Because I am I am intangible, and hopefully I'll be able to deal enough damage this turn. There's a Riddle with Holtz, good. And then Wallop. And, uh, yeah, Cloak and Dagger is enough to kill. Beautiful. Perfected this one. No troubles there. Alright, here I got Ink Bottle. One of you playing 10 cards, draw one card, as well as a Speed Push, which I'll skip. And Third Eye, another Scry card. That's really good. And uh, here, I don't know, upgrade the wallop maybe? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay. All right, last fight. I could get a curse out of this, but I think I'd rather try to avoid it. Word of those. You know what? Once again, let's drink this and do this. Yep, that makes my life easier. And I got a fear push instead. Crescendo, empty mind. I could take empty mind for card draw. Let's do that. And then here, I'll upgrade. Should I upgrade the Empty Mind? Oh, it was already upgraded. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's upgrade the Conclude, sure. Okay. All right, I do have the um, Power Potion for after the transformation. Uh, there's a Piercing Whale. There's Dagger Spray with Akibiko. Let's do Dagger Spray with Akibiko first. Then Piercing Whale and Protect. That's still not enough, right? Let me see if this gives me something good. 
Well, I can do Consecrate. I should do Piercing Will for sure, right? Let's do Miracle Acrobatics. All right, there's a Halt. Um, I can do Eruption. Then Halt. Then uh, Just Lucky. Okay. Then Empty Mind. Wait, I, I still need to... No, I don't need to play the Protect anymore. So let's do Empty Mind. Play the Endless Agonies. And then... Um, should I do Conclude or Riddle, Riddle with Holds? It's not as much damage as I'd like. Let's just do a Conclude. Let's save the Miracle for another turn. Okay. Alright, 20 incoming here. I can do Vigilance and Defend to be fully defended. Good. Oh, I no, I don't want to play Infinite Blaze. That is one power I had. I forgot about that. 24. So here, let's do Empty Fist, Third Eye. Get rid of this. Actually, get rid of all of these other than the Cut Through Fate. Then Weave. That draws me the Cut Through Fate. Ooh, Wallop is great. Okay, yeah, Wallop should allow me to be fully defended, right? Uh, 21. No, I need a little bit more. Yeah, I guess I have to do empty empty body. Okay. All right, another twenty. Uh, there's an empty mind. Let's do defend first, then tranquility and empty mind. Okay. Then I'll do third eye. Get rid of. Uh, you know what? I might need eruption and vigilance next turn. Let's keep those two. Well, I'm gonna draw one of them. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, yeah, these. So that way I can get do acrobatics and the sneaky strike. So let's do weave, just lucky. Okay. Then another weave. Um, I think I, I will do acrobatics. Okay, that way I can play the sneaky strike for free. And then I also will do cloak and dagger to be fully defended. Okay, and let's do dagger spray. All right. I'm dealing damage somewhat slowly, but I am dealing damage. And... So far, I'm able to defend... Uh, well, this turn I have to play all of my defensive cards. Okay. Alright. 24 again. I think this is where my luck stops, right? Uh, let me throw the Fear Potion. Okay. Then see what the Cutthroat Fate will give me. Wallop again. Once again, is great. Let's get rid of the other two, though. Alright. There is Weave Wallop. That's only 18. I just need a little bit more. I don't have it, which means I might have to... Yeah, I will lose my buffer here. Okay. Another 20. I can't do Eruption. Can I do Eruption? Hang on. So this is 13. And this is going to be uh, with vulnerability 6 times 2, 12, 24. So that's 37. And then another 44. That's uh, 81. I think I have enough. If I do Eruption, Dagger Spray. Then Sneaky Strike. Actually, do I even need to do Sneaky Strike? I think I can just do two Strikes. And then let me see what the power potion gives me. Study, like water, rush down. Well, I guess I'll do study, but... Uh, okay, it's not that great. And now I de desperately need a way to exit wrath because I don't have my buffer anymore. Well, I did get one way to exit wrath. I don't think I need to conclude. I need defensive cards here. Weave, empty fist. Okay, empty mind. There's a vigilance. Can I get maybe an empty body? No, no, there's nothing I can do here, right? Let me see if acrobat... I don't know what acrobatics would have to give me. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done here. All right. Well, at least I'm alive. Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, I think, I don't know. I think I was lacking like a strong attack card. If I had something that was really powerful, it might have made a big difference. Um, let's do strike here, third eye. Get rid of all of these, I think. And then weave empty fist. Sure. Inside gives me a flying knee. No, uh, let's defend here. Empty body and defend. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose. I, I don't want to actually die here. All right, another 18. Uh, Wallop is great. Yeah, Wallop is a really good card I picked up very late. Um, and then I think I'll just to conclude. Yeah, because I'm already not perfecting, I think at this point it's more important to just try to deal as much damage as possible. Let's do Vigilance. I'll do Infinite Blades here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to lose a lot of HP, and I'm not, I'm not super happy with that. Let's do Shiv Insight. Um, do I still... Well, I do have a cut through Fate. I'm going to reshuffle, right? Let's do Protect and Hold. That allows me to be alive. Flying Sleeves. Okay. Mm, not happy because I'm not... I don't have a lot of HP left. Another 30. Well, there's an Empty Mind. That would draw me some cards. And then Vigilance. Okay. Uh, let's do 
cut through fate. Shift first, then cut through fate. That was a misclick I meant to play the cut through fate. Consecrate is probably fine. Okay. Then I can do empty fist. Get energy back. Cloak and dagger shiv. Acrobatics. I also should have counted cards because I feel like this might have been enough. Do I have a way to exit Wrath still? Not really. Well, other than the empty body, so I don't think I'll do the eruption. Uh, can I defend here? I think I'm lacking energy, right? 26. Well, I'll still be alive, just barely. Okay. I still wasn't counting cards. I don't think that was 20. All right, 18. Um, let's do insight, weave, just lucky. All right, empty body is fine. All right, weave again. Shiv, another insight. Empty body, wallop. Okay, yeah, that, that way I'm fully defended. And then let's do flying knee for extra energy next turn. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to... I have less energy than I wanted, but let's try to count cards here. So one, two, three. No, I don't think I have enough here. Yeah, actually, now I'm starting to get worried that I might not be able to fully defend. I think I have to play the Protect here. Okay. All right. Uh, 30. Uh, let's do Shiv Insight. Cut through Fate. Uh, I think I'll do Acrobatic Sneaky Strike. Uh, that is not going to let me defend, though. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to defend, right, against 30. All right, I'm not going to reload this one because it's already my replay. And uh, yeah, clearly, I think the deck was just lacking something. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure what it is because I didn't really reject the card that I regret rejecting. But it was lacking something. I was at least able to get Highlander, doesn't it? Wait, wasn't it not recorded? Did I get an accident duplicate? No. I thought even if you die, it does record it as Highlander if you um, don't have any duplicates. And I don't have any duplicates. All right, maybe it just doesn't. But yeah, so I was was able to pull up Highlander. I got Mr. Machine. Four of the six elites were perfected, but only the Act 1 boss. And no real chance I had. I mean, I died to the Act 2 boss the second time around, and then I died to the Act 3 boss this time around. Um, yeah, again, like a Sands of Time would have been great. Even the signature move or something that deals a lot of damage. Um, I just didn't get it, which is a shame. Yeah, um, 729 the second time around the first time must must have been much lower i wouldn't be surprised if i predicted correctly that pelts went for highlander uh yeah that's just a great score 19 uh 1309 yeah amazing each two with 1211 and uh, steam with 1209 as well yeah so really good scores everybody uh my actual score yeah 399 i'm actually 511th does mean that not many people got to that point yeah, so I think my second time around, I got 700 something, right? So I, yeah, and there I see Super Nintendo here. So I wouldn't be surprised if, just like me, Super Nintendo just wasn't able to survive um, the last boss. Uh, but yeah, just the fact that there's so many, like, you know, losing to the final boss lands you in the top 300 this early in the game, uh, this early in the day, does make me feel like this run might have been difficult. A lot of people might have struggled because, again, I think the cards that were offered were not that great. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a Watcher run with the Heirloom modifier, which gave everybody gear, yeah. And I actually used up all the gear, yeah, as charges in Act 1, which was pretty nice, as well as the Colorless Cards and Deadly Events modifiers. Uh, so David got a great score of 1578. Unfortunately, it's David's week off. He's on vacation, I assume, so I uh, wasn't able to record. Uh, but yeah, congratulations for such a great score. Then you have Lord of, pa Lord of Paper Towel with 1528. Wopal got 1476, and Pelts got 1472. And then I didn't do too poorly with 1428. Um, I perfected five of the 11 elites, so I think that's where most other people were able to get more points from. I did perfect all the bosses, got Highlander, Overkill. That was fairly easy thanks to the Pendip and Wrath and the Mind Blast. Um, I did miss combo, though. Was able to get Popper, I like Shiny, and the Lightspeed modifier. I think I played in less than 35 minutes, which was pretty good. Then you have Goldberry with 1426. Uh, Goldberry perfected 6 of the 11 elites, all the bosses. Uh, was able to kill the Act 2 boss on turn 2 and kill the Act 3 boss, the Deca, on turn 1 and the Dono on turn 3. So yeah, had a really aggressive, powerful deck. Didn't go for Popper though. Uh, he tried to get 250 cards and also make the Mind Blast stronger by picking up more rare cards. But ultimately wasn't able to get 250 cards and the rare cards he got were not super useful, which I think I noticed yesterday as well. They were not that amazing uh, rare cards showing up. Then you have PGM here with 1425. PGM got seven of the ten elites. Um, now, unfortunately, PGM had some really bad luck. On Act 3, none of the question mark rooms he had were an elite fight. Uh, that That is with the Deadly Events modifier, which means that he not only got one elite less, he also wasn't able to get the Allied Shiny modifier by one relic, which is a shame. He only ended up with 24. 
So you could have been theoretically been able to get an extra 50 points from my like shiny, an extra 30 points from fighting an elite if he got the same RNG as everybody else pretty much was able to get. And he would have been most likely able to perfect that elite. So um, yeah, that was, that was a shame that he wasn't able to get those uh, extra, what is that, 105 points. Um, and then the rest of the modifiers, uh, PGM was able to basically get the same as me. So yeah, just unfortunate of that small mishap there. Then you have Yavos of 1422, Super Nintendo got 1421. Uh, Gemino got 1403. Gemino perfected 8 of the 11 elites, which is really impressive, but missed the Act 3 boss. Just drew a bad opening hand, and there's nothing he could have done. He also used 9 potions, so I assume there's an Entropic Brew in there somewhere, but that unfortunately didn't help. He was able to get Overkill and also the Gold Modifier, and that's something I completely missed. So some people who rejected the Ritual Dagger were able to get Gold, and I picked up the Ritual Dagger to get Overkill, but then I got easily got the Overkill with the Mind Plus later on. So that extra 99 Gold I could have gotten instead of the Ritual Dagger would have been able to get me an extra 25 points. Points. Uh, Gemino also missed the light speed modifier by 39 seconds, which is always a shame. And you have Wonder Monkey here with 1395. Uh, Steven got 1376. I should also point out that Steven is the author of this mod that highlights all the names, all the familiar names uh, in blue. So I'm very thankful for that. And just to keep going, you have Ichu with 1326. Cosmino got 1303. Uh, Mike and Pierre got 1278. Um, Pierre perfected seven of the 11 elites, um, but missed the act three boss by one turn, so only perfected two of the three bosses. Um, didn't go for Popper. Um, Pierre mentioned that he almost always goes for rare cards, uh, which I respect because rare cards do make it easy. And oftentimes, today, for example, I wouldn't be surprised if I would have a much easier time if I had taken rare cards. Um, and then Pierre also didn't get any time modifiers. Now, Pierre did take the Sneko Eye Relic, and he mentioned that he was not confident enough to take either Coffee Dripper or, um, I forgot, what's the other one? The Runic Dome, right, that's the other one. And uh, I can see not being confident to take Runic Dome. I, I basically rarely do that. But Coffee Dripper, I think, is a fairly safe choice, uh, usually. I mean, today was not a good example, but, you know, usually. Uh, he did mention that the Sneko Eye might have been a mistake yesterday. Um, and then uh, next you have Alex here with 1266. Alex skipped the, the last Act 1 Elite to go for a path with two question mark rooms, and he still was able to get an Elite out of that. Because of that, he had different RNG. For example, he was able to get the Normality event on Act 3. He didn't take the Normalities, though. Um, he was uh, still trying to get Highlander, and he was able to do that. Only perfected one boss, but because of those two extra question mark rooms, he was also able to get the Mr. Machine and the Gold modifiers. So congratulations. That's I mean, that's why I love reading comments, because I don't think many people did that approach. And that approach, I think, would have probably been the best if Alex got luckier with the bosses. And also... Um, now, actually, that's the main thing, right? Like with the bosses, would have been 150 uh, points more. That would have been pretty good. Anyway, that's it for the top 200. I should mention that Grimgoth died yesterday to Grumman Up. I think that might have been the two days in a row where Grimgoth died to the Grumman Up. It is, it is a challenge, especially uh, on Act 1. Anyway, uh, so that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did. I'm really curious to hear what the secret was. Um, there was an admissions offer today that I didn't take, but I don't think that was it. I think there must have been something else that I missed. So let me know in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.